Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Audrey here, the fit, fearless, and faithful mom. And today, stemming off of last week's video where I asked you why you are Catholic, today I'm going to be talking about why I'm Catholic. So let's get this pony show on the road here. All right. Okay, so here's the thing. I am a cradle Catholic, complacent Catholic, nah, I'm going through the motions Catholic, Catholic, Rad Trad Catholic. So it's been a journey, y'all. It's been a journey. Okay, so here's the thing. The short of it, why I'm Catholic, is for the Eucharist. I mentioned that in last week's video, so if you missed that, go check that out. Little, short, little elevator speech. If you can't answer why you're Catholic in a short elevator speech, uh, 30 seconds or less, then you need to go reassess, go back to square one, go get your Baltimore Catechism, and so forth. Okay, so here's the deal. I am a cradle Catholic. I went to Catholic school up until I was in sixth grade, went to public school, seventh and eighth grade, went back to an all-girl school, all-girl Catholic school taught by nuns and some other lay individuals. And then, um, uh, yeah, from there I went on to college. So that's that in a nutshell. Made all my sacraments, knew that the Eucharist is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Didn't really understand it till I was in my mid-20s. Um, don't know if it wasn't really taught to me or if it was just because I didn't really pay attention. I don't know. Um, I think it was kind of a combination of the two, um, thanks to certain ways that I think our kiddos are being taught now. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, so... When I got to college, my was roommates with three other girls. Two of them were twins, and then there was another one. When when I got to college, and I still was going to mass because my mom and dad always taught me, like, hey, Sunday, you go to church. And so I'd say I was going out of habit. I uh, didn't really go to confession. Confession was not on my radar but I knew I wanted to receive the Eucharist. Um, the Lord had called me to something when I was 19 years old and I said, no. And when the Lord calls you to something and you don't go, the Lord go starts poking you even more. And I said, Lord, I don't want what you want. I want what I want. And so for many days, many days, um, I lived with strong anxiety and my way of saying no Lord was to leave the church. And so I did. And so I then went on to uh, just going to either no, no church at all, or I was going to occasionally a non-denominational church. And so that was good. It was small. It was on campus. It was on Sunday evenings. So I could go out drinking on Saturday night and sleep in on Sunday and then be good to go and get the emotional high that non-denominational services provide. And I was like, cool, I'm good. I'm good with God. And so I ran from God for um, about a year. And then I said, I need to go back to church. I need to go back to church. And there was something God was really digging at me and saying, like, you know, you're going to come back. You're going to come back. We're going to work through this because I love you, my sweet daughter. And you didn't do what I asked you. And that's okay because I still love you. Okay. Okay. So um, I was missing the Eucharist. Uh, Cody and I were dating and he would come to church with me occasionally. And then he stopped and that was fine um, for a little while. And then I'll never forget, um, we did live together before we were married. I know. Whoa. Shocking. Throw pitchforks at me. So, but was in a different, was in a different place than a different time. Now, wasn't I? So uh, I'll never forget. I got home from mass when, once I did start returning back to mass again and, um, Hey, what's up? Um, whoa. Um, I'm, I'm hungry. So, um, can you hear what you're asking, um, your video? Okay. Here we go. Um, when I shoot videos, I make a little copy. Um, and Corey needed a snack. So, okay, back to it. Okay, so so I'll never forget. I got back one Sunday, and I was so angry. Um, I was so angry. Cody was still sleeping. It was kind of like the Luke Combs video, like, Sunday morning. She woke up fighting mad, right? And, like, his foot was, like, hanging off the bed. And 
I'll never forget like looking at Cody and being and just like throwing shoes around. I had just gotten back from mats too. I was throwing shoes around. I was I was making all kinds of ruckus and like without skipping a beat, he didn't even pick his head up on the pillow. He said, You made me not want to go. And I was like, oh, how dare you? And then I thought, okay. Okay. All right. I will I will stop asking. I will stop asking. So I did. I stopped asking. And this was when I was around 21, 21 or so. We were preparing to get married. I got married at 22. I was super young. Um, I graduated college a month, um, not a month, a semester ahead of time. So I graduated on um, December 2008. We got married November 2009 and had Kyler uh, nine months later. So honeymoon baby, we were married. It's like, hmm, let's do this. So anyway, I had Kai super young. That's another story for another day. Now, we were preparing for marriage. And as we were preparing for marriage, it was, we are one. And so I need to start taking my faith even more seriously. And then Kyler came along. And you know what? Praise be to God. Oh, I'm getting choked up. Whew. Um, She was just what I needed. Sorry, give me a second. She was just what I needed um, because I was uh, pretty complacent with my faith. Sorry. Um, she just turned 10, um, which is mind blowing that I have a 10 year old um, when all my other friends have like babies <laughs> right now. I'm the old mom compared to them having three kids. Um, but in any case, she was what um, she was what I needed. Um, to not be complacent in my faith because once she was baptized, it was, I have, I have made the ultimate decision to raise my child Catholic. I not only, I not only promised myself like, yeah, sure. We're going to do this. Yay. Like I'm signing up for dance class. No, I promised the Lord God almighty on November. It was Cody and my one year anniversary when she was baptized. Um, no, uh, November 21st, 2010 is Kyler's baptism. And thanks be to God. Because after that, it like, I was at church with, like, I had been going to church, like, with her, by myself, diaper bag, whole nine, everything. And, um, and, and there was still a part of me that was hurting, uh, pretty bad going by myself. But I started reading more. I started doing more. I started getting suggestions, but mentally I was not um, able to take them at the time because I like reading books like this when Kyler was born, like <sighs> over my head. And so I started smaller, um, father, Mike, father, Josh. So now like I'm in, into my mid twenties and those, those priests were really good for me. Um, other podcasts, Catholic Answers were really great as I was really starting to make my faith my own. I'm getting choked up again because now here comes Corbin and I cried at his baptism when, when, uh, when I was holding him or the baptismal font and the priest was pouring the, the, the holy water and, and, and blessing him. It, it sunk in even more. So Kyler, it was all oh, beautiful baptism. Yay. And then when Corbin was baptized, I had an even deeper and even more rich understanding of our gorgeous faith. And so when he was being baptized, I was like, <sighs> so I kept reading, I kept doing even more, kept doing even more. And then Corey came along. And when Corey came along, her baptism actually was pushed back two months um, because, um, because we had flooded and like the whole town was, it was just a mess when she was born. Um, so her back, like she was still baptized at I think three months or so. I think it was like two and a half months. I don't remember that time is such a blur. She was born May 25th. She was baptized at the beginning. You do the math. She was baptized at the beginning of October. Anyway, so that I cried then too. And after that, I just started reading even more and asking even more questions and, and, and started listening to 
people who were way smarter than me. I started listening to people whom I never thought that I would listen to, but yeah. And I started to really understand our gorgeous space deeper than the Novus Ordo. And then I became a YouTuber. And when I did, it opened up Pandora's box in a way that I never thought possible. And so, yeah, I'm thankful um, that I have started this journey with YouTubing. Because as a heavily involved fitness person, I love tracking, and a teacher, I love tracking results. I love seeing sustainable processes. I love seeing things that I can make my own differentiated education. And, and so YouTube has become like my accountability, just like you have like fitness accountability. Teachers have like teacher accountability with their grows and their glows and their, their tracking that they do. This doing YouTube has made me an even better Catholic. And this is where I have led into being the rad trad that I am. Am, am I a, like super rad traddy? Like, like some people, um, no, but I'm, I am way more traditional than I used to be. I veil now and I understand why I veil. I have been getting on my knees to receive the Eucharist for years now because the Eucharist should not be touching anybody's hands except the priest's hands. And he doesn't even like grab it. He's supposed to use, it's the uh, middle finger and thumb, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's like this and he has to hold it like this. And yeah, it mind blowing. I've had a journey, like cradle Catholic, complacent Catholic, runaway Catholic. I've learned a lot over the past 33 years, specifically over the past 10 years. My journey has changed so much. I look forward to where God will be placing me. The people whom I have met through this whole YouTubing journey has been phenomenal. Huge shout out um, to Dina over at A Catholic Wife. Tasha over at Radical Mothering, John over at Catholic for Rednecks. They make me better. They make me strive to be a better Catholic. And so I am grateful. I am so grateful for their boldness that they proclaim with Catholicism. They make me better. They call me out on things. Um, and so I look up to them. I look up to them greatly. I highly encourage you to look up to someone greatly. If you are considering being Catholic, uh, just do it. It's the one true holy Catholic apostolic church means universal for a reason. So <clears throat> I don't know where the Lord is going to take me. I really don't know. All I know is that I tell my children daily, just do the next right thing. Doing the next right thing may mean going to brush your teeth. Yes, Lord, I'm going to brush your teeth, taking care of the body that you gave me. Yes, Lord, I really don't feel like working out this morning because I feel sick again. I'm going to do it, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'm going to go say the rosary. And if I happen to fall asleep, Lord, I'm sorry. Guardian angel, please take over for me. The saints were not perfect. <laughs> and so I look at them and I'm like, oh, there's hope for me. But they kept trying. They kept doing the next right thing. They stumbled and they fell. I have stumbled and fallen. I stumbled and I fell this, felled. Hashtag homeschool mom. Um, I stumbled and I fell this morning when I yelled at my daughter, um, which she didn't look over her work anyway. But did I have to yell like I did? No. We are all striving for greatness. Not just greatness. We're striving for sainthood. And so my little story, cradle, complacent, non-denominational, maybe I'll be Protestant. What is your story? How is your story shaping up? What is the story that you are telling? What is the story that you are shaping right now? And what story are you shaping right now that your children are looking at? What are you doing right now to help yourself dive even more into our faith? Leave me a comment below. Let me know a little bit about your story. And um, yeah, God bless y'all. Pray for me. I'll be praying for you. Make sure you tap that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.